Greetings. I see you've made your way past enemy lines to the dark outpost. Welcome, patriots. I'm David Zublick, your host on this excursion to the darkest outposts of the human mind and beyond. Thank you for being with us once again. We appreciate it. We have a great show coming up for you today, I do believe. Just a few moments, we will be joined by Emmanuel Blue, who joins us every couple of weeks on a Wednesday. He says, wow, something big is coming. What is that thing that is coming? Well, he's keeping me in the dark until we bring him on the air. So Emmanuel Blue will tell us what is coming in just a few moments. Then in the next hour, Ginny Silcox will be joining us. We're going to continue our conversation on directed energy weapons, mind control 5G, and EMF radiation. Today we're going to talk a little bit about EMF protection. Is there really anything that can protect you from EMF radiation? Ginny Silcox will weigh in in the second hour of the program today. In the third hour, Dr. James Fetzer will join us. Dr. Fetzer, of course, has been uh, instructing us on how to spot a false flag. And I think we're going to get into that again today. We're kind of going to wrap that up. But we're also going to talk a little bit, I hope, about the faked moon landing in 1969. And yes, uh, we may be on the moon and on Mars and on other planets as well. But that's all part of the secret space program. The program that we have been led to believe is real may have been a Hollywood movie. We'll talk to Dr. James Fetzer about that in the third hour. And then in the final hour of the program today, we're going to talk with a woman who contacted me yesterday. She said she's a receptionist or was a receptionist at a pediatrician's office. But she walked in and quit her job yesterday because she says the doctor is pushing the COVID vaccine on children, and she's already seen cases of deleterious effects of that vaccine, and she could no longer be a part of it. She will be joining us in the fourth hour, and if we have a little bit of time as well, well, we're going to take your calls. So all of that is what's coming up today. Hope you'll stick around for all of it. Before we do any of that, if you don't mind, let's do as we do each and every day on this broadcast and take just a couple of moments to honor our nation and its flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Hey, quick question for you folks, if you don't mind me asking, and I think this is kind of important. How you looking these days? How you feeling? I hope you're both looking and feeling great, but if you're not, I got some bad news for you. Studies show that uh, the adult body produces 10% less collagen every decade. So if you are over 40, this should be a concern to you. And that's why I highly recommend this great product here, Ageless Multi-Collagen from Biotrust. It is a great, great product. It is uh, it's something that gives you a little bit more added youth, decreased wrinkles, and more energy. That's the way I feel since taking it. And my skin specifically looks and feels a little bit firmer. Now, for a 64-year-old guy, uh, that's not too bad. 
Anyone over 40 should be taking advantage of this new opportunity in anti-aging technology. All you got to do is visit my website, healthwithdavid.com to learn more. Furthermore, you're going to get 51% off of your first bundle if you order today, plus a 60-day money-back guarantee. All right, head on over to healthwithdavid.com today. Healthwithdavid.com. All right, we're just waiting on uh, Emmanuel Blue to join us. He should be coming into the studio any moment now, hopefully. And uh, we'll find out. In the meantime, let's. Uh, I, I wanted to bring something up. I, I wonder if this bothers any of you. This is something that uh, kind of gets my goat a little bit. And I haven't talked about it too much. I'm a news junkie. I have to be to, in order to be doing what it is I do. I'm constantly visiting news sites every day. And one of the things that really bothers me is when you have a news aggregation site, like the Drudge Report. I'm not referring to them because I really don't use them anymore. But another news aggregation site, for example, and you click on a link to a news story and you find you can't log in and watch it because you're not a subscriber to that site. That really bothers me. I don't mind having subscription sites. I have a subscription site at darkoutpost.tv, but I offer a lot of free content as well. And I let you know up in advance that you're going to have to be a subscriber to watch certain parts of the program. They don't do that. They lead you to believe you're going to get to read a story, and then you get there, and they make you subscribe. I don't think they should do that. We'll talk about that at another time. Anyway, I want to bring in my really good friend who comes on every other week on this program and who are always delighted to have with us, and that, of course, being the great, and I do mean the great, Emmanuel Blue. Emmanuel, how are you today, sir? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm um, humbled by that introduction. To great. <laughs> well, I, I, we're humbled by the fact that you bring us a lot of interesting information when you come on the program every couple of weeks, and we certainly appreciate it. You kind of have me intrigued today because um, you kind of the, the headline which I put on my uh, the uh, thumbnail for our video today is "Wow, something is coming," and I want to know from you what that something is. Yeah, whoa, whoa, like the Bible says in the last days, whoa, something. Whoa is coming too, yeah, I believe that. We're going to get into the dark side, symbols, discern, and the music um, industry. All right. From the outset, I want to say, uh, I want to play a two-minute rant that I did a few weeks ago with you. Yeah. It was kind of compelling to me. Um uh, number one, I want to kind of have perspective. And number two, the second reason I'm bringing it is um, to have some relevancy. So I want to I want to play that, and then uh, we'll go from there. Let's see. Right. Do this up. I'm, I'm a pragmatist. Well, I used to be a journalist. I was in the industry. Damn it, corrupt. You don't have a media. We don't have a media. We don't have it. And, 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 and when you try to com com compare it to the other small outlets, it's, 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 it's David versus Goliath. Yeah. Of course, you are here doing your thing five, six days a week. But how can you stand up to NBC, ABC, and CBS? You can't. It's conditioning. You can't. And what we have to understand is this. With every generation, the older the generation is, they consider us the minors. They're looking to take care of the major, that is who. They want to always heavily influence the young. That's the right. one that they want. That's right. Those are the ones they want. They're not going to tune into your program, but they're going to turn into all the social media. That's why the devil went after those eight, those, those groups, because he knows the goal is to get the young. Yeah. And historically, we're fighting an uphill battle. Right. And what. And what has happened historically is that it gets down to the book of Matthew where the Bible says you're going to have mother against daughter, father against son, nation against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And why is that you have to ask yourself? Well, as you begin, begin to have more wisdom, it's because the psyche has been conditioned. And so now the young is rebelling against the wisdom of God. And Amen. that's where the fight comes in. So we have to now influence the young, 
hopefully more heavily than these other major networks because they so yeah um i went back to that for various reasons but i thought that was a very powerful um uh statement or overview that came out of me and i just wanted to make that the basis from what i can start because again whoa something is coming you know and i i really appreciate that you that you replayed that because i was thinking about that shortly after your appearance and you're absolutely right if if, if the youth rely only on the crap that they get from the so-called mainstream media the influence that it has on them is so horrific unless they are able to balance it with uh, the, a good message from another source, such as yourself, uh, it's going to have a real uh, bad effect, a deleterious effect on their lives. And I'm glad you reiterated that. Yeah, because one of the first things I believe that the uh, dark side did, they went after the media because they know the goal is to control the mind. And where the mind goes, that's the future of the country. Yeah. But that was, that was, that was the plan. So now, once this conditioning is completed, the byproducts are wayward children, wayward children, lawlessness, um, misguided, sexual perversion, because lust can never be satisfied. That's the spirit. In this generation, we do have, I mean, just some crazy sexual legislation coming out, even in our schools where they're teaching about the private parts at an early age, which I'm sure yeah. you're very aware. Oh, we've been talking about it incessantly. And fortunately, uh, one good thing uh, is that parents are beginning to speak up about it. I've actually played videos of some parents confronting the school boards, uh, you know, and saying, you know what, how come, you know, you're, you're, you're teaching our five-year-olds about masturbation and about, um, you know, gender identity and all that sort of thing. They said it's absolutely, uh, you know, ludicrous. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad people are finally starting to speak up about that. Yes, yes, because we're, we're, we're seeing the old pagan, um, again, like I said about a few weeks ago, we're dealing with the pagan Phoenician period where it was like no holes barred, Satanism, lack of empathy. And now in this generation, we have drug usage, excessive drinking, witchcraft, less accountability, a generation that draws not from the wisdom and mistakes of the parents and grandparents, but from the nonsense of entertainers in which yeah. we we'll get into in the future. Yeah, I call, I call them the image sh sh shapers. See, this devil, of course, he's not just going to come out and show himself overtly. He utilizes these vessels and someone that they can relate to, these young uh, entertainers. And then, and then we, we automatically latch on, not we, but a large percentage of the youth, they latch on. And this is what happens when you have arguably over 50% of the households, let's say right here in America, with no balance of a father and a mother. And so what's happening is that the influence becomes more stronger. So now we're becoming sheeple and, it, and eventually dummy down to the lowest ebb so that the once perf perfected DNA atom won't in any measurable fashion utter, thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is a gradual snatching away of the birthright and plan of God to always have man in his image. God created thoughts and actions. Hollywood, social media, and media are the trio of deception launched against this generation, leaving no stone unturned and nothing remaining in its arsenal. I've said it before. And I'll say it again. We are in a kingdom battle. This trio is the one tool utilized to bring destruction and out from it, the Phoenician arising new world order. One way the dark side is ushering in this is, is the CERN. Uh, it's a big computer. I don't know if you're familiar with that, 
but there is a there is a thing going on for the last maybe uh it was brought into existence i wanted to say in 1954. the european organization for nuclear research known as cern is a european research organization that operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world i've heard of that yeah it's deep now established in 1954 the organization is based in a, in the northwest suburb of geneva on the franco swiss border and has 23 member states now with my research i've been doing the last few years there's actually seven places uh but the main one is in uh switzerland and uh in, in layman's terms they have actually been able to tap into uh, when I say the dark side, put this in, in, in quotes, in capital letters, the dark side. And I want to play for you a, uh, a, 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 about a four or five minute tape that a pastor Darby, he's a late pastor Darby. Uh, he was one of the ministers and um, uh, professional people uh, in the field to break this down from a, from a spiritual aspect. And then at that point, I'll explain the video that I also sent to you. But again, the bottom line in layman's terms is that the dark side has figured out a way, quote unquote, figured out a way to go into the belly of the beast and into the, uh, the depths of the ground and bore through rocks in, in on in. And they are actually reaching that period where the Bible talks about in the last days, those spirits will be unleashed. That's basically their goal, according to certain evangelists. So I want to play that for you right quick. Okay. So much choice. I don't even know how to get in it, but I'm going to try. Now, what is CERN? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to break this down as, as easy as I can possibly make it so you'll understand it. There is a facility over in Switzerland. It's a 17-mile underground circle that they put 300 miles, I mean 300 feet underground, and it's 17 miles uh, wide. What they are doing is they are taking matter, or you learned this in, in school where you are. You know what an atom is. You know, you know matter, you know, the, the, the building blocks, the smallest particle matter right they're taking that and they're they're, they're they're shooting it at the speed of light through this 17 mile circle which is a magnetic uh, uh field that and they're shooting it as fast as they can get it because they're trying to go they're trying to go through another dimension they've already said what they're trying to do now the particles that they're shooting create something. And I'm going to get into this and show you how all of this is working. Now, this is the most dangerous thing that there is. This is the revelation. This is what the book of Revelation was talking about. They are going to have this thing is going to be in full power by September this year. By September, they've already started, started up. It takes months to get it at full speed. They had it started two years ago, but... It wasn't enough power, so they doubled the power. And they started it up this time. And what it does, uh, they find in other things that it does. Now, they say they don't know what's going to happen. That's what they say. I don't believe that. But they say that they say that something is going to bend time and space. Now, you've been watching this through movies all this time. You've been watching this. I told y'all that they are putting this stuff in the movies because they're conditioning you for it. Because they're conditioning you for what's coming. You got to realize all the movies is about fighting against this alien thing or whatever's coming. They're getting you ready to fight against something that's coming. Y'all there. Now, so so what they're doing is with this over in Switzerland is there's now Stephen Hawkins, which is a which is the top physicist, you know that cripple, little cripple dude in the wheelchair, but he's a physicist. He can't even talk, but he's must got some type of good mind. He told him, don't do it. He said, y'all, he said, they are getting ready to open the gates of hell. He said, don't, he said, it's the, it's the scariest thing he's ever seen. And you got to realize this guy's an atheist, but he knows don't do this because he knows what, he knows that they're trying to open space. Now, every movie, especially the latest superhero movies is telling you the same thing. 
all the Transformer movie was about opening a portal to get stuff really trying to bend space to make it easier for whatever coming from one dimension to the next. It's just a window. It's an opening. You remember a movie called Stargate? It was just an opening from one place in space to another. You got what I'm saying? Time travel. You can say all that, but it's basically just portals. Say portals. Now, I taught this a while back in a message called The Portals of Darkness. And I was saying stuff that I didn't even research. I didn't even know. I was saying that about a spirit. And I was so shocked how accurate I was when I researched it now. That what I was talking about was exactly what they're doing. Are y'all heard what I'm saying? So, now, when they take these particles and shoot them at the speed of light, when it gets to full capacity, it's going to release something called antimatter. Say antimatter. So we got matter and antimatter. Now, matter is good matter. That's good stuff. That's, that's what we are. That's what you can see. But there's also, but antimatter is the opposite. It's like darkness and light. Matter would be light and antimatter would be darkness. This machine is allowing them to collect antimatter or darkness. Now, they say that the, the antimatter that they get, what they're collecting, comes from the place on the other side of that dimension. Right? Come on, y'all stay with me now. I told you this is going to be scientific a little bit. Now, they have found the what 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 they call the wall the wall they have found by this machine they got that there is a wall that they know that is holding back antimatter or darkness they know it that now what they're doing this time is trying to find the building blocks of that wall so they can dismantle it so they can let whatever's being held back come through that's why they're saying they don't know what might come through but now that they done started this machine up, they're starting to hear demons and all types of stuff now because they're getting close to this. Come on, yeah. Now you now, now, now I'm gonna show y'all how you watching this. Now I know most of y'all saw the movie The Avengers, you know, the, the movie with the Marvel movie with the Hulk and uh uh you know uh and Captain America and all them. The last one. Now y'all know not the Ultron, not the Ultron, the one before that. Because I didn't see the last one, I didn't see the Ultron, I saw the one before that. Remember in that movie how there was a uh, um, listen now y'all no. I gotta I gotta I gotta say this to get you to understand because these concepts are very difficult to understand if if we talk about physics so we're gonna talk in terms of we understand since you most y'all seen the movie you would understand what I'm gonna tell you now you know in this movie uh, the guy called Loki which was a god came to, and he and he and he and was looking for this power this energy source it was a blue energy source called the tesseract. This tesseract had the power, had the, had enough power that if they would, you know, work with it, they could open a portal. Remember, that was what the goal was to open a portal. Because when they opened the portal on the other side of the portal, there was like demons waiting to come through. Do y'all y'all remember that movie? Every movie, sci-fi movie, has been saying the same thing all the way back since Star Trek. They're trying to open something. Everything that we have learned uh, is it, about opening up a portal. And, I, and, and, and I'm going to make it personal, but first got to give you the overall understanding. You got what I'm saying? Now, so over there in Switzerland, that 17-mile circle is a big portal that once it gets to full capacity, something's going to open. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this, what they're collecting. They had collected this antimatter, and, 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 and it takes a long time to collect a little bit, like a gram of it. It takes a long time. But they took and hid that antimatter in a college years ago. And in this college, people started having weird dreams and getting possessed and all kinds of bad stuff happened. This is where they stored it. Because the antimatter, they say, when it comes in connection with you, it will begin to pour the darkness or magnify the darkness in you. See, because you are made up, listen, you are made up of matter. You are also made up of antimatter. That's fascinating, isn't it? Wow. And, and I've got a, I don't know if you saw it, uh, Emmanuel, but I have a picture of CERN up on the screen. This thing that actually looks like, like Stargate from the yes. movie. 
and from the TV series. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And I, I can I can sense that who is this pastor that was speaking? He was excellent. At pastor Darby. He's dead now. He's been dead about maybe three or four years, but I, I've been following him religiously for a long time. Wow. This I'm was sorry. made this was made back in either uh, 2014 or 2015. So okay. CERN is already in operation, is what I'm telling you from the research. Yeah, yeah, it is. And um, wow, it, it, that's pretty scary because, yeah, we don't know what we're going to bring through that portal, do we? <laughs> they have tapped into, again, the dark side. And remember, when you first met me, I told you, God has parameters for this dark side, and they have to go and they have to fit in a certain uh, accountability structure whereby they can only do so much. So in these last and evil days, God is allowing them to go to a certain point. But as they go to this point, they got to give us clues. They got to give us codes. They got to give us signs. And then God's going to give us discernment. So men like Pastor Darby and here's the thing. I knew you could handle it because I'm assuming you know about the old guys. Uh, you know, I, at my age, you know, I think you remember, um, I'm trying to think of these guys, George Norrie. Remember George Norrie? Used to oh, yeah, him? he's on, he's the uh, host of exactly. Coast to Coast AM. Yeah, Exactly. So I knew that you could handle this because I'm an old George Norrie guy from 25, 30 years ago. I did research on that, on that level, Par parallel the universe and different dimensions and things. Everybody can't handle that, but the Bible speaks on it and it speaks on the last days. The Bible didn't really call it portal, but they would get into the dark side and they would figure out a way to tap into that. And that wall that was there, think about it. How, just, just think about how, how precious your salvation is. That God had has a spiritual wall. I guess it's like the Holy Spirit keeping these demons at bay. But this devil is trying to chip away at it to let these demons that were in chains loose and so yeah. as it yeah. is so logically we're saying how does that connect to the world we're living in well you can scratch your head not too long and, and realize that's why the world is in shape it's in there are more crazy spirits out here now that we have to contend with on a daily basis now i have a video that i want you to play before that i want to get into this before people say i'm making stuff up I love clues where it's, where it's just convincing. This video that, that, you, I'm, that I sent to you, yes. the clues are there. There is no doubt. You cannot say Pastor Darby is crazy or I'm crazy because they're showing you through signs and symbols here that not only did they do it, but they know what's coming. Okay. I'm say it again. Not only did they Look, they even have the, the dignitaries from around the world. They're celebrating the actual uh, construction, the formation, and the beginning of CERN. Now, in the video, you're going to see the celebration. You're going to see prestigious people there. You're going to see them walk. Remember the old Michael Jackson videos where they're walking like they're dead? You're going to see them do that. They're going to climb a wall. Then they're gonna then they're gonna do a dramatization and film where you're gonna see them cutting through the wall like they're boring through the wall trying to get to this hole. Then you're gonna see them get possessed by a spirit. You're gonna see them almost uh, stripped down to just their underwear, and they're gonna be poking their chest about every five seconds like like a demon came inside their body. Um, they're gonna be like palpitating. Then all of a sudden you're gonna see the devil with a goat. All right. right, the Belfamet, they're telling you what they're doing, and then you're going to see them actually run around like they actually got became possessed. Then, after that, the people are going to self start celebrating that they got through the wall and they're going to be dancing and giving homage and then bringing um, uh, 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 sacrificial things to Satan and they're going to be dancing. Then the dignitaries come out and they bow before this creature. It's all there in the film and you can play it. So again, the pastor's not crazy. I'm not crazy. Not only do they have they done this, they're showing the dignitaries and the people who are at this event and the world that they have broke through this wall.
All right, let's play the video and uh, check it out. Here it is. <clears throat> Well, that's about as satanic as it gets, isn't it? <laughs> Can you believe what you just watched? Oh, no, that's uh, that's uh, that's human sacrifice type stuff. I got to tell you, they have actually broken through. I can't even speak at this point. Yeah, I know. This people. That's the doorway to hell, right if, there. If you don't know Jesus as your savior. People, this is this is serious. This this is no joke. This is no movie. This look, it's right in our face. I can't. It's, it can't be no blunter than this. And 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 think about it. They had to be in concert with the dark side to know to do this in the first place. To have the technology to learn to do that, on all levels, you can see how man has has joined himself with the dark side and this is what they're doing they're building this thing they're constructing this thing and it's going to affect our governments our economics our, our, our entertainment they're doing this and they're telling you because again god so loved the world he gave his only begotten son whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life i wouldn't i will never leave you i will never forsake you on your journey he's given us clues as a vessel you and i 
we're here. We're giving people clues to say, look, this is real. This and yet, am I preaching? Yes, I am preaching. This is well, real. yeah, but you don't sound you don't sound preaching. You make I mean, you're with showing this video with the point you're making. I mean, it hits home. I mean, this is what our we have debased our entire society. Now, where was this? Where was this, this video is filmed? This is in Switzerland. You can go on the internet. It's right there. I found out about this about four years ago, and it blew my mind. I, I just, I couldn't believe it. I, I said, this has got to be a joke. But like the pastor said, they've been showing us in movies and clues for over 10, 20, 30 years. It's been coming. And they finally matched up with the technology to be able to break through. They're in now. Yeah. yeah. And they were they actually showing what, what appeared to be a simulation of uh baphomet or you know satan whatever you yes. want to call him coming through that portal That's which it. would be the portal that they're working on with cern and coming into our realm and corrupting our people that's it wow and you wonder why we're in the position that we're in spiritually these demons which have been in bondage the Re revelation talks about for eons are slowly being let out now we can go through the photos step by step. I'm kind of overwhelmed, so I might be stuttering at this point, but I'm just so emotional right now. I'm trying no, to no, it's okay. Right. I'm going to just, and as you said, there's no particular order. I'm going to yep. put these up and it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty creepy. And yep. uh, let me just, I'm going to, I'm going to, are you, if you're watching the screen, I'll put these up and you just kind of describe what right. we're seeing here. Sure. Um, and the first one is coming up right now. And this is, uh, this is, uh, take a look at this. This is, um, uh, yeah, so what we have there is there's a, there's a guy named Drake. Yeah. He's a um, entertainer. And like I said, God's always going to give us clues. He had a very popular song years ago, talk about cell phone. And um, you call me on my cell phone. In it, you'll see the Phoenician colors of blue and, 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 and purple. Uh, but it's like a pink the girls have on, real sexy girls. And then he has all types of colors in the video. People who've seen it, they'll see it. And you'll continue to see the pink and the blue. But then this girl who, who right there at the end, uh, it shows she has on a hat. And it says, Woes, W-O-E-S. Does that not remind you? of what the Bible says in the last day, whoa, what will yeah. happen? Yep. These are no coincidences, people. And then as we go on, you'll see where he has on a, uh, his, his, one of his clothing lines that he really pushes now is of the owl. And everybody knows yeah. the owl and what it has. The, uh, no, that's the a symbol of the uh, baphomet right there. Exactly. So he, he's, put, he's being utilized to push that thing. Okay, so go into it. Now, this, this, little, this little creature here, this is Lady Gaga. Yeah. The same Lady Gaga that they utilized at the inauguration for Joe Biden to have symbolic with the um, Phoenician uh, eagle burned up. Um, there she is. I'm not going to say uh, exactly what time it is because I might have to use this later on. But uh, this this Lady Gaga, uh, this album was released uh, during the period where we had this, let's say, pandemic. And notice the colors. Yep. And notice the the fang, the fingers. That's like thy sting. When the Bible talks about the sting and the scorpions in Revelation. Yes. Yes. I and question the, 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 red, the red shoes. Exactly. They utilize Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga has so many devilish, uh, Balfamet, evil uh, type things. She's a she's a Madonna on steroids, really. Yeah. Yeah, we listen to our music. It's like uh, just another, you listen to our music almost similar to McDonald's, but, but she's being utilized as the dark side, as far as I'm concerned. We can go to the next. Now, there's, now there's your owl. You yeah, know, that, that is that Bohemian Grove, for those people who don't know. Exactly. Uh, where they actually uh, do uh, sacrifices. They exactly. actually, and exactly. uh, they, they say it's symbolic that they really do not sacrifice children, but. I've heard otherwise, and uh, I have a, a guest who has uh, come on the program that was almost taken there and used as a uh, as a sacrifice himself, but he managed to escape. Deep, deep. All right, continue. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the next one, and um, let's put this up on the screen. Now, here's 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 from, this snapshot is from a video with Nas X. Call me by my name. Now, this evil spirit, which is really him. 
he plays a dual role of someone being um, uh, uh, um, approached in, in, in his uh, make-believe Garden of Eden. But the thing I want to focus on, look at the third eye. Yes, yes. As more and more I did the research in third eye, the third eye connects directly to our sexual makeup. And so it's fitting that with this, this little devilish being uh, captivates and hypnotizes and looks little Nas X dead in the eye and hypnotizes Don X and then begins to perform a, a deviant act on him in the Garden of Eden and literally lay him down. It's a snake. Yeah. The third eye. So their dramatization, the evils and the powers of the snake in their version of the Garden of Eden. Mm. Okay, next. And there it is there. And Nas X becomes hypnotized. And then Nas X then goes out and, you know, uh, seeks power and literally goes into the bowels of hell after that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Deep. Right. Here's the next one, folks. And then he here we go can't get no more blended than that. Then you go into this deviant sexual thing, this perversion of men that don't want to be men. And yeah, I'm saying it because I'm tired of it. And I'm tired of men in our race not having a choice. You know, back in the day when I was growing up, we looked up to the Jim Brown. We looked up to uh, the Walter Payton. We looked up to strong men. Now, you know, every time I turn around TV, I don't see a, I don't see a strong man. I see this crap. And if yeah. people don't like what I'm saying, I don't care. I'm just tired of it. Yeah, I, and I, I certainly don't blame. I'm, I'm just I'm look 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 look. It's time for men to speak up. I don't care about whatever you do about yourself, but why every time I turn around, I got to see this in the media. They're pushing this guy on us. They're pushing this on our kids. How come we can't have kids just dress up naturally anymore? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, at, at least at least balance it in the videos, and we can see a man without mascara on. It's just crazy. And, and then and so then we have the Phoenician colors of the pink and then we got the, the blue. They're pushing this new uh, agenda of, of, of no sex, basically asexual. And that's what Nas X is being used for. And there he is getting on a stripper pole, going down into the bowels of hell. Next. <sighs> All right, um, hang on one second. Let me just put the next photograph up here. This is. And then he finally gets into hell. It's like, whoa, I come. Whoa, I come. Now, when we talk about that, that thing with the CERN, to me, this, yeah. this is a dramatization to me of what's happening. These spirits have hopped out and they're coming, people. They're coming on us. They want to impress our hearts, our minds, our soul. And like I said a few weeks ago, it is it, it it they've already got the last generation to a certain extent and done what they can to try to hypnotize them but it's it, it so that so now we're the minor the major is what's coming that's why they have the Nas X in front of us because they want to pervert see it's not that I'm anti any race or any uh sexual persuasion what this is as a Christian I'm looking at it from that point of view you want to go anti God yeah when he says I make man into my image, you're saying you're saying flip it, and you're using this this medium of uh, of entertainment, especially music, and people like this guy, who, in my humble opinion, the lyrics that he that he writes are just distasteful and raunchy. You know, it's insulting to come call him an artist. People, use your head. This is not art. This is not fashion. And this certainly is not music. This is not music. Listen to his lyrics. What they've done is put sound and beats together in a format to persuade you. That, yeah. that, that's, that's all it is. They call it, 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 can't, it it's, it's not music, people. Don't be that dummy down to accept this as an artist. He's not an artist. He's a transformer. That's what he is. When I say transformer, he's a political and religious and social transformer. And the image is to influence your kids. Yeah, I agree with you. Now, there we have the owl again. So you're gonna tell me out of all the all the things that's in the video, Nas X has got an owl in his video, in the flame and above that, there's that those 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 those, those old school gods that they're worshiping. 
That's what I'm saying, people. These are this this is it. This isn't music. No. This is a social, political, spiritual construct. We gotta use our head. And all oh, he sold a million. He ain't sold a million nothing. That's hype. That's hype, people. I believe those numbers are fudged. He's not and, that. And I think as you real. pointed out in a previous uh, visit with us, he's being used. He's being used. He's not that talented. That's not talent. I write music. That's not talent, people. Yeah. He's being used. And shame on him. And there's the devil again in the background. You, you, you can see you can see on the on the floor there. You got that the uh, pentagram. Yeah. Yes. All this devil, all this devil worship right in front of us, and we calling this music. All the symbolism. With the uh, tears coming, the tears of fire coming yeah. out of the eyes. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And then. Uh... And so now we have the. Um, uh, where am I at now? Uh, Looks like some sort of a pagan dance. Yeah, uh, I had it up here. It's not CERN. Um, it's not the owl. I can't. Um, I forgot this image here. Uh, but anyway, this has to do with the CERN. Right. And um, well, it's not like it's calling the demon in through the portal. Or yeah, dan yeah. someone dancing outside of the portal. Yeah, I, I summon I, the I, demon in. Yeah, I, I can't think of the uh, the God that that is, but it's, I think it's from the, I don't want to say the wrong thing, so I'm not going to say it, but um, this this demon God deals with destruction. I just can't think of the name right now. I erased it. But um, yeah, this this is this is one of the uh, signs that CERN uses, symbols that, that, that CERN uses, one of their gods. All right, we can go next. That's the last one that I've got, sir. Okay. Um, did you have the one with CERN with the 666? Uh, I, I down, let me see it. Let me, let me just check my, uh, let me check my files and see if I have any, anything else. Cause I didn't see CERN 666 there. CERN has a, uh, oh, wait a minute. I, 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 hang on a second. Hang on a second. I've got this coming up. Hang on. Let's see if we got this. Uh, we got this. CERN is seeking yeah. secrets yeah. of the universe portals to hell. And that, and that's the wall street journal question in it. And then we've got another one coming up here, and I think this might be War to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil come unto you because or having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Revelation twelve twelve. That's it. Yep, that's it. And I think we've got one more, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check, make sure I got it's not a repeat, and that is you know, it's just, it's the same one, portals of hell. So yeah, that's it. There is a symbol. I thought I'd send it to you, but I didn't. Look. CERN has a 666 logo pressed together. And the sixes aren't, you have to look in it to be able to see it. The sixes are actually, just imagine three sixes fused together. Okay. And they're split in a circle. And again. Oh, hang on one second. I'm, uh, hang on a second. See if I've got this. Hold on. Yeah. I might just have it because. Uh, Let's see. There if it is. is. Right there. Six, six, six. Yes, I see that. Look at that. Look how slick they are. Yeah. Look how slick they are, people. Yeah. People. Yeah. It's so slick that it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's twisted. But once you mention it, you yeah. can see that it's clearly yeah. there. Yeah. Look, people. Look, look, people. Get off the conspiracy theory thing, people. Don't let people block you with that. Pray, seek God's face, and he will show you discernment ask god pray for discernment when i i have been writing for 40 years when i decided yeah. to get back in this thing one of the things i asked god says god am i going to run out of material he says did you ever run out of material i says no he says well go do what i tell you to do just seek his face and he will bring stuff into your path because he says i will never leave you i will never forsake you he wants to let us know and forewarn us. Key word, forewarn us. They put this stuff out here right in our face, and sometimes we don't even know what we're even looking at. They are in direct concert and communication with the dark side. Now, 
if you go back in your mental history, when Joe Biden became president, have you ever in your life, out of all of our presidents, heard somebody mention the dark side until Joe Biden mentioned it? No, and I he was a, and I we also know that when he was referring to dark winter, winter, he was not talking about winter. He was talking about the dark side. Exactly. Now, you, you is that coincidence, people? All everything's in concert. Every look, I ha, look. I need to wear out my kneecaps, thanking God that I can see this stuff, man. It's so blatant. They don't even care that we know. They want to send you to hell and send you through hell before you even get there. I don't think we understand the immensity of, of who we're dealing with in terms of Satan. He wants to take this universe, take this planet, and he wants to rule it. We're in the middle of a kingdom battle. Yes, we are. And he's using every aspect, everything on this earth to come against christ and the and the and the old world order the, the new world order is anti-christ and this show should should make you understand what it means to be anti-christ these people are anti-christ that is look even if you don't even believe in jesus i come to you at it from this standpoint just the basics of being able to raise a family they're killing your economy they're killing your neighborhood. Nothing but doubt and uncertainty around here. Forest fires in LA every year. Uh, earthquakes in diverse places. Matthew 24. Uh, kingdom against kingdom. Wars. Uh, Federal Reserve uh, being in debt to them up to our ears. Biden spending all this money, which is cool to a certain extent, but how are we going to pay for it and start going to start seeing inflation roll around? It's already starting to show. This is one calamity after another. This devil, the devil wants to bring nothing but confusion. This is what antichrist means, people. It is not a religious thing that we're talking about. We're talking about anti everything which is good. And when you put it in context, when Christ got, when God got through making the planet, he looked over all which he had created and he said, this is good. Anytime you're diametrically opposed to that, you are anti-Christ. So what was good? The rivers were clean back in the day. The waters were clean back in the day. The air wasn't polluted back in the day. Everything was good. What did man do? He made it anti-Christ. You yeah. wonder why we're living paycheck to paycheck? Because that's anti-Christ. He's building a, a king. You know what? All this, all this, everything that you're talking about, the God saw that it was good, and man, the devil corrupted man's mind, filled it with filth, and that filth has made its way to the planet. You know, if you could, could you go back into the video and just run off with that for the end of the show? I want people to just look at that again. All right, I absolutely can do that. I, I, I think, I think that's 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 the turning point in all this. Can't deny what you see, people. Absolutely. Let's can't put it on one more Can't time. deny what you see. And just so you know, earlier, I didn't get that, that picture to you somehow, but um, Drake, the entertainer, he has an owl he wears all the time on his chest. Now, look at this Michael oh. Jackson. Look at this Michael Jackson death move. It looks like they're all walking in lockstep, you know. Zombies. 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 Then they run up there, do the drum drumization of getting into the wall. And they're, sl and they're slowly breaking down that wall, breaking down that barrier that the Holy Ghost put there. You talk about salvation. Sin would be a hundred times worse if God hadn't put that barrier up. But in evil last days, it has to be revealed. Now look at them. As soon as they got through cutting down that wall, they go into this spiritual frenzy.
you're going to notice that they changed from black on the corners. People, all of a sudden, people got on black and red. You'll see that too. Yeah. Look at them. Possessed the base, by the devil. The, the outfits completely yeah. debased. You can look, see, look their, that. see the that. genitals through their pants. Yeah. That's how thick that is. Look at that. And now, now they turn the spirit form with the devil. See the spirit in the background? Yeah. The spirit's coming out. As it's spinning out, the spirits are coming out. Now the devil's revealing himself. But who thinks like this? Some very sick people, Emmanuel. <laughs> and there's the sting, like the Lady Gaga. There's the sting. Yeah. I think they're doing this just for entertainment purposes, and they got some of the most influential people from around the world at this thing. They're just letting you know what's coming. They let you know what's coming. They know what's coming. They're planning. <laughs> Now I guess they finally broke through the portal. Now there, there, that's, that's that brick of the time and space. That's the inside of a wristwatch. See that? Yeah, yeah. That's the inside of a wristwatch. They broke. See, isn't that beautiful? They broke through time and space. That's why. That's why they had the wristwatch there. Yep. And then I think there's a clock that you're going to see yeah. running backwards for the end. Yeah. There it is. See? Look at all this. Look at this. Look at this symbolism, people. Look at it with the red and black on it. Yeah. Everything's confused. Look at it. It's a clock going all different directions. Now they're doing what? Paying homage to this beast. Yeah. Even the right they're going to bow to it humbly. Celebrating. Look yeah. at them. Can you imagine what they're doing in the dark that they don't show us? Disgusting, man. Really disgusting. Emmanuel Blue, I want to thank you for bringing this to our attention once again today. And uh, God help us. We got to we got to fall on our knees and start praying, my friend. Right. Look, look. This is too much for me, but I I, I, prom I made God a promise. I get back in the game. I'm back in the game. God bless you, people. Please God, pray. God bless you, Emmanuel, and we'll talk to you again in a couple of weeks. And thanks for this enlightenment. We yeah, and, and watch your children. All right. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. Emmanuel Blue here on the Dark Outpost. Man, did he bring something to our attention, didn't he? I mean, holy crap. Switzerland. And it could be here in the United States. It's probably happening in places all around the country. Think about it, folks. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be joined by Jenny Silcox, who's going to talk to us about, you got it, EMF radiation. So stand by. We will be back with Jenny Silcox in just a brief moment. <laughs> 